Matthew Kachuk, spectacular this postseason. This guy is the total package. Kachuk with a shot! He scores! Matthew Kachuk in overtime! Kachuk, the hero in overtime number four. Matthew Kachuk scores! He does it again! What a prime time performer. I mean, he just gets the job done. Kachuk ties an NHL record with his third overtime goal. He's out of here. Coming back out in front of it is Kachuk. He scores! Superstars make the big plays at the big times, and Matthew Kachuk has done that. And the Florida Panthers heading to the Stanley Cup final. And we welcome to the set Matthew Kachuk. Thanks a lot for being here. We are looking forward to watching the Stanley Cup finals on TNT. And we have enjoyed the show you have put on, man. This, at the age of 25, this has just got to be storybook stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it really has been incredible for me. Uh, I think back to like two or three months ago, nobody in the whole world thought we'd be in this position right now, let alone even make the playoffs. So uh, the fact that I'm sitting here with you guys and getting ready to play in a Stanley Cup final at my, my first ever Heat game here when with them having a chance to make the finals, it's a uh, storybook for South Florida. Oh, you want me to go? You know, you go back. <laughs> After you have a four overtime game, what the hell do you do the next day other than sleep? <laughs> I did a lot of sleep. I went in the cold tub for a little bit, but uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, like the games come by so fast, and next thing you know, you're playing in game two and you're going into another overtime. Guys are like, come on, seriously, we're doing this again? And um, But the fact that we were able to recover that fast and get that game two win was huge for us in that series. Matthew, you're a great athlete. I don't have any questions. I don't really watch hockey. I just like to see you guys fight. <laughs> So, thank you. Thank congratulations. You. I like the nice contribution. Yeah, like, nice yeah, well, I think uh, I think yeah, my dad. I, I don't watch hockey. I think my dad's more happy with you though than Chuck after thank, Chuck thank gave you, over the title of the family to me already. So uh, I don't think the he's best, the Mr. best Kachuk, Kachuk in the family. Hello, family. sir. How are you? <laughs> no, and your your dad. Look, less than fewer than 50 guys in the history of the NHL, I think it's 47, have scored 500 goals, and your dad is one of them. Uh, what was the biggest influence he had on, on your career? He always said two things to me. It was compete and be a good teammate. Treat the trainers right. Uh, be great to everybody at the rink. Didn't matter what type of job they had. Um, and I think that's one thing that helped me right away when I came to the NHL and has had the biggest influence on me. Well, you know, I'm, I'm by three steps ahead of Shaq. I'm not much, but three steps. I grew up an Islanders Rangers fan, and then I kind of moved away from it. Phil Esposito, stop it. I was, you know, I was, I was Islanders a fan. And Get Rangers to the fan. point. But my question <laughs> is, you know, for for when I always watch the game in hockey, I go. What is the biggest skill? Is it the skating to get there or the stick to make it get there? I think uh, I think the hardest thing is like just the overall hockey sense. Like you have to be in the right spot. Like Wayne Gretzky always said, like he wasn't going to where the puck was. He was going where it was going to be. And uh, I think that's the biggest skill. And um, guys can skate. Everybody can skate. Like I don't think there's a huge difference between guys that play in the NHL when it comes to actual skating and guys that don't play in the NHL. But it's what you're able to do with that. And um, I think there's a lot of guys on our team that have that full package, and that's why where we are. Where so we are. when you when you sweep, and now. Do you want the series to be over quicker, the Dallas night series, or you like the rest? Either way works for us. I think the longer it goes, rest is very, very important, especially for us. So we know that even if that series goes seven games, when game one comes, we're going to be out there flying and hammering guys and, and ready to go. So we're excited for whenever that game one is. So is hockey like basketball? You guys have home home ice advantage? You like we, that? Home ice advantage? That's what know. they call it. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I thought I, Shaq, we got I, in, thought we got I was in, creative. We got in by one point. We definitely do not have home, home ice advantage to start this, uh, this round. But yeah. uh, hopefully we can uh, get one or two at the start and get that right back. I'll say this. You you get high marks for, for style points in, these, in the course of these game winners that we've seen. The one on both knees with the mouthpiece hanging out, that's one thing. But this one, uh, in game two, 
uh, was this a just oh, spur of the moment decision that look we're not going to celebrate on the ice we're just opening the door and getting out well we just played a four overtime game and like i said this game two went no overtime open the door open <laughs> the, the door get out the, get out the only thing that was on my mind was to get my skates off and let's get the hell out of here <laughs> so it was a uh, it was a huge win for us and um yeah the the door was right there so it was also a spur of the moment hey i gotta i gotta ask you about about this too because we brought this up earlier in this series between the heat and the celtics the fact that jason tatum and you went to the same high school chaminade in st louis and in fact, we showed yeah. this uh, we showed this clip hi my name is jason tatum and one reason i came to chaminade was because of sports mainly basketball I, another reason why i came to chaminade because of great people and great fans like Graham Niemeyer, Jack Sponer. I love basketball. Navelli and Matthew Kachuk. Great guys. Oh, nice shoulders. Pretty nice smooth shoulders. there, huh, boys? Pretty smooth. <laughs> yeah, um, no, that clip comes up probably a few times a year when me and him are doing uh, well or whatever. But um, it's crazy that we were in the same gym class for all those years. And um, it's cool to say that we're both representing Chaminade. And I know everybody back in St. Louis is rooting us on. You know, the, the only thing I hate is I would love to just knock the hell out of you and only get two minutes, Shaq. Just one time. They might give me a five-minute major, but I would love to just slap the hell out of you on the show one day, and they says, Chuck, you're not going to be on the air for two minutes. What you want me to do, teammate? <laughs> you do whatever oh, no, you no, want. No, 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 not up. No, 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 and uh, it's an exciting game, but I don't know. Everybody here is pulling for me, so I think I got to join their side for a little bit. But I, I, that would make a lot of people in St. Louis mad, so I got to keep the, the honest uh, answer going and just root for both of them. Matthew, thank you much. Thank you guys. Great, really. Good luck in the Stanley Stand Cup. Good luck, brother. Yeah, good luck. The best good Chuck in the guys. family. Hey. Hey. Chuck, the best good Chuck in the family. Sorry. Oh, he's no. gonna be pissed again. <laughs> but hey, but you know what? He should be in the Hall of Fame. Yes, okay? I, I agree. Hey, I agree. Be one favor. Your, your dad got 500 goals. If you keep playing the rest of these playoffs, you'll have 375 by the end of the playoffs. One favor. If you get into the fight, I want you to nail somebody and just say, "This is for you, Shaq." <laughs> Oh, uh, well. You try not to fight during the Stanley Cup oh, finals. On, they need him on the ice. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know the rules, especially if they got home ice advantage. Right, okay. 5-1. We'll take a break.